In chapter 23 of Candide, Candide and Martine land in England. But before they can disembark from the ship, they see a man get executed by 12 bullets to the head. It turns out he's an English admiral, punished for not engaging closely enough with the enemy. The two travelers are told that in this country, it is considered useful now and again to shoot an admiral to encourage the others to fight. Candide now refuses even to set foot on English soil, arranging to be taken directly to Venice in two days' time. When he and Martine arrive, Candide is thrilled at the prospect of seeing Cunegonde again. <laughs> Voltaire very much enjoyed the two years he spent exiled in England, particularly the nation's acceptance of open-mindedness and free thinking. But Candide's decision to stay on the boat demonstrates Voltaire's disillusionment with his home away from home. Though Candide grows more hopeful the closer they get to Venice, he hasn't regained all the optimism he had at the beginning of his travels. He has seen the best of all possible worlds in El Dorado and knows no other place can match it. That's why he tells Martine, all goes as well as it possibly can.